YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the Kaiju King, the brother from another mother, and the Highwayman himself, TJ. Dude, I've been listening to so much Dean Martin. <laughs> like, like hey, ain't that a kick in the head? Stuff. Dude, I've, I've been jamming into that song. I, I told you the other night when I walked into the liquor store, and that song kicked on the second the doors like automatically opened up. I felt like I was walking into a <laughs> to a liquor theater. I felt like a celebrity. I was like, oh my God. Yes. Thank you, Dean. Anyways, continue. Speaking of Dean, these matches are filmed over at Dean's dugout. Keep time, that's perfect. Uh, we're there every <laughs> Sunday for Digi. Uh, they're a car shop located in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, great mom and pop shop. And a lot of us have been going there for many, many years now. So if you're in the Chicagoland area, want to check the shop out or come play some Digi with us. Like I said, we're there every Sunday at about 1230. Today's matchup features Mitchell on the left playing the new Three Musketeers build. Uh, going up against TJ himself, who is playing Leviathan. You're on that Leviathan grind again. Yes. And I think Leviathan is in a pretty interesting spot. So I'm interested to see, yeah. like, in this meta and how things are shaping out. So I'm interested to see, like, how it stacks up to some of these newer decks. Um, obviously, Three Musketeers is a little bit of a different type of matchup. But I think a lot against some of the meta, if you're going to be playing this more often, I'm excited to see more of that big old kaiju. I also have these, well, the people will see in a minute, but these hot mm. new uh, shin sleeves that you got me for my birthday. <laughs> and they, they look good, dude. They look yeah. so good. I'm glad I got them for you. Um, but you. before we keep on yapping over here, quick couple things before we hop into the round. First, if you're not subscribed yet, uh, do hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. Check out our socials, which are linked down in the video description below. Has our Discord, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. The Discord in particular is going to be super important for you guys if you're looking for the deck list of our players. So if you're looking to see what lists are being run uh, from any particular video, whether it's this one or a previous one, just hit us up there. We'll hit you in the right direction. Um, and without further ado here, let's hop right into the round. So as a full disclaimer a little bit, uh, mm. this is my first time playing Leviah in a... Well, not my first time, but it's been a long time yeah, since I've played yeah. Leviah. I haven't touched Leviah since like BT15, like early days mm -hmm. and this is mitchell's i believe it's mitchell's first time playing musketeers yeah yeah i think he's so, still like making some tweaks to his build as well yeah so we were kind of figuring stuff out um it shouldn't have been able to did you all in the back there i don't think it shouldn't be able to go over the kapuri it doesn't have the mm, true the stuff that the agus have um i didn't catch that until just now but you know we it's all right it's not a big deal we do the Giga Dra, um, so we use its effect to cycle and then slip an option underneath, which is pretty solid. Yeah, Mitchell was a little bit bricked. He didn't have a four. Um, I also did not have a four at this point. I was just sitting, I think I have just like a bunch of fives, a Leviathan in hand, mm -hmm. and something else. I think I just, yeah, so I promote Goblin here. I just swing to a chip. What? Uh, oh. And okay. then I just hard drop Leviah. Yeah. So, <laughs> he. The idea basically was like, I had nothing else in hand. I was like, you know what? I basically just forced him to have to like do something big to out this body. Sure. Um, because if I drop a five, it's just gonna go bye bye. So Mitchell just stays in the back and just starts sort of like digivolving up a line. Mm -hmm. Um, goes into a tank mod in the back. Um, but yeah, so yeah. you know, just force the Leviathan like it because Leviathan is a scary thing to leave on board. Just having sec plus one oh, yeah. apparently is just a lot of damage it can do. And I mean, if you're like deleting stuff too, I mean, you gain a memory, like it, it does a lot of things. It's a scary thing to just sit there. Yeah. Um, um, plays the BT6 Imp, does pitch a card to go mm, ahead and uh, grab back the Three Musketeers trade card. Yeah, he didn't. That's rough. Um, I think he probably actually could have played the Durblitz to pop the Leviathan, I think. I'm not too sure why he, you know, he didn't. Because he had the Black Source in the back, so. Sure. You do pick Bye. up a Leviah X off of the Memboost. You do your two checks. Big guy living. And you do go into, it looks like the Leviah, yep, for reduced yeah, cost of I, one. Just to mm -hmm. choke. Yeah, and so I go into that. I'm, yeah, I'm reading the effect again just yeah. to remind myself. So I pop the Impmon. Uh, I, I figured like Protoform being in there is good. It just helps me kind of build up my security if I need it. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not have any more rookies at this point, but the men boosting back just kind of helps me out with other There is a Durblitz. Yeah. 
Uh, so he'll go ahead and just pop your Leviah. You'll bring back the level six and then put the protoform up on top. And then mm -hmm. Dirt Blitz gets tucked underneath the stack. Yeah. And so, I, it's, yeah. if basically, if that Dirt Blitz gets uh, pulled out, it will um, it will digivolve one something. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty <laughs> cool. There you go. You yep. do it again. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, uh, you just throw them down there. Uh, Three Musketeers does tend to give a lot of memory, and you just go ahead and throw stuff out. Yeah, you I was see just a <laughs> Field Star Ace, Dare Blitz again, just pops the Leviah. Mm -hmm. um, and Mitchell will pass turn again. And I think we're seeing kind of here, kind of the classic conundrum that Three Musketeers typically has, right? Which is, if you're not seeing the right line or the right pieces, you do have a tendency to get kind of gummed up with sort of clunky options don't really have much of a way of like super super unbreaking yourself you do have some searchers that came up and there's some options there but like it is tough right when you're not seeing what you yeah. need you really can't do a whole lot yeah it's hard and you're kind of just being patient in the back going up a line mitchell does give you three here so you can do stuff yeah, I was um. So I believe I had drawn an Anubis. Uh -huh. So I was like, you know, and I had a Cerberus exit hand. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and just start setting up for just an Anubis play. Dude, I, so I like the, the I like the. It's not like the newest Cerberus, but the Cerberus that you just promoted. I like that card a lot. The inherit sneaky good. For yeah, what being Cerberus able to rush or something. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Um, I feel like I, I need to make better use of it. Mm -hmm. Uh. My the ratios are really weird with Leviathan right now because you do like the Cerberus engine is just better. It's just yeah a great uh, engine. I do come back to the Siako by the way. I know I I whiffed on the on play. I do get back to it in just a second. Um, I just I kind of oh. start going through other things first. So I Anubis to play out the Leviathan here. Uh, it's for reduced cost of seven, and then Leviathan will on play. I I'd use Anubis effect first to delete the um the uh, Jeez. Koyagu. <laughs> And then I use the um, Leviathan effect to go ahead and pop the uh, BL right. star. Yeah. There you ace. Go. You so I get four memory off of that. Memory. I get two memory off of the voltage one being deleted because of Leviathan. And then I do go ahead and um, do the pitches off of Siako. Uh, I swing. Mitchell accidentally revealed the card a bit too fast before I could finish resolving my one attacking effect. So I was debating on popping the Leviathan every stand. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't I, I saw that it was um an option i saw that it was the cash triangular but i could not remember what cash triangular's inheritable or security effect was mm -hmm. uh but i was with my like you know what I, I i wasn't gonna pop the leviathan i was considering it because i was gonna read it out and then i was like no i'm not gonna do it yeah and so um fair enough just to kind of clarify what kind of happened there now, I know you already gained your memory there, so like Leviathan's memory gain was done, but like in theory, right? Like if you were, like if this was like a fresh slate and your Anubis died, do you get the memory off of Leviathan? It's been a while since no. I played Leviathan too. It has to Leviathan's, be your opponent's Digimon. Leviathan's, gets yeah, it's only opponent's okay. Digimon, so, and it's not once per turn, it's all turns whenever Digimon are deleted. Oh, okay. Uh, you gain one memory for each Digimon deleted, so it's just, it it's just keeps whenever. on resolving through that instance. No wonder people are doing that with Lilith. That's nasty. Yeah. Um, right now we're just clarifying, like, can the BL start to put the card under another um, another stack? Yeah. You go ahead, swing for game. Yeah. And this, yeah, he just didn't have an out, unfortunately. Sure. So that's yeah. game one. That is game one. Yeah, so I mean, start, as I was saying. But yeah, as I was saying earlier too, like I think Leviah is in a very interesting spot right now. You know, we have a lot of decks right now that do like to play out via effect. Um, main one in particular being Imperial. Mm. Um, yeah. And I think the one thing that Leviah struggled with, particularly when like Numemon and like Magna X was around at full power, was just speed. You needed time to set up. Yeah. And those two decks at full power didn't really allow for that. Now that the meta has slowed down a little bit, Imperial still goes fast, obviously, and things can still mm -hmm. happen, but I still think Levia is a really strong card. You know, Levia and Levia X being able to do two checks, three checks respectively is crazy. Yeah, the the biggest thing that yeah, it's like what you're saying. The biggest thing for Levia was that there's just too many big immune blockers. Mm -hmm. 
And Levi doesn't DP climb at all. Also to clarify too, by the way, and yeah. I know someone's gonna comment about it before I, I didn't get to it till now. Mm. Um, he shouldn't have been able to put the Dur Blitz under the Tankmon. The Tankmon uh, does not have three Musketeers and traits. Mm. And so yeah, the Dur Blitz wouldn't need to go under the Bial Star Ace. It doesn't matter. The game still resolves the same way regardless, but anyways. Um, but back to the Levi stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it has a pretty good matchup against Imperial. A lot of times it just kind of comes down to how effects shake out and if they see the Primogenitor option, because that can be kind of a sure. nuisance. Um, it has a pretty good matchup against like a lot of other things in the meta right now, just because they, there's not like too many insane, like protections that stop like double pops mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, it punishes a lot of decks like to put things up by effect. Uh, it, but it, you know, it, the second it runs into like Mother Shoto, it's like, oh, okay, this is a, I have to try and pop that Shoto, otherwise I am struggling. Sure, sure. Um, to kind of catch everybody up to speed here, you kind of climb up two lines here. It looks like you're missing maybe a five, possibly. You end yeah. up going into an Octomon over the Ghazi to play out a token. You gain a memory just to choke. Um, and you kind of are sitting on two level fours here while Mitchell pushes up his tank tankmon and is debating here what he wants to do and we'll decide to evo into the what's his name is it deputy the deputy mon yeah. and then we'll play out the uh cash regular mitchell misunderstood he thought he activated the card it doesn't play it out it just trashes it so then the uh, the trash effect happens so he gets plus 3 kdp on one of his stacks he goes ahead goes ahead goes into megadramon here uh, that Mega Dramon will be able to go ahead and tuck an option from hand or trash, I believe it does. Mm -hmm. um, and then after it tucks from hand or trash, it then pops on with six uh, with six KDP or less. Sure. So, go protoform. Yeah, go I was. I think service. I had the five, yeah. but I was missing the proto. I was missing X anybody, and I didn't want to like uh, pass over much. Remember going into my five and then losing it potentially. Sure. So you pitch a Ginkaku. Since you have the X antibody underneath, you can play out the Siako. Draw three, and then I trash one card. Pitch in another server. Yeah. Go Gobbly in the Go back. Gobbly. <laughs> okay. We're, we're same brain. Same way. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. Ah, and Anubis. Yeah. I do go into Anubis here. I do pitch three cards. Oh, so I pitch a God. Biting Crush, Levia X, and I'm deciding what the last card is. It's kind of hard when you have like, like it feels like all the cards in your hand you kind of need. I just pitch a training. That tra um, that, those trainings are nice. Yeah. And then I believe I play out. I actually don't remember what I played out. Let's find out. Played out a Dover. So yeah, I'm Dover. Play. I get Blocker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing give blocker to Anubis. Anubis effect to go ahead and pop a level five or lower, so I pop the Megadra, and then that's it. I just call it there. Damn, look at you getting that uh, one of both games. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, finding the Anubis early both game. Well, it wasn't super early the first game, but like finding it this early this game was is crazy. It's pretty yeah. nasty. All right, so we see Hurricane shot here pops two lower bodies, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, and then he gets placed under the Deputy Mon. Push Go up the push gobbly. gobbly. You looks like you pitch a seventh lightning just to play a Dober out. Dober gets played out. Now Anubis should have popped something. No, I get back to it in a second. Uh, I'm so like I, I should have popped something, but I forgot. I, I believe go. I get back to it in just a moment. Yeah, I do it now. I'm just like wait, I should have popped something. Sorry about my resolutions being a little bit loosey goosey. No, um, no, I do. I do believe I don't miss anything. I just am late on some yeah, things. No, there's a lot with, <laughs> especially with like purple and Levia. It's like so many things, like inheritables, then on plays, and it, it's a lot. Yeah. After this game, I got like I was in sync, and for the rest of the day, I was fine. It was just yeah. like trying to remember what, like how everything kind of shook out. Like first game of the day, I haven't practiced in a while. I threw this deck together like the night before. <laughs> I sleep <laughs> you, it up at you, really this morning. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, brother bear. We were they... up late. Oh no, no, no! It was the day before that. Okay, night. I was gonna I say. I was like, no, no, no. Oh, it my. was the day before that night. Well, no, because you, because <laughs> that was when you told me you had the sleeves. 
Mm, right, right, right. So right. I kept it there. And then, yeah, I didn't sleep it up until... I sleep it up when I was at Dean's, though. Yeah. Um, so anyways, more resolutions happening. Um, I have to re recall that the Fujitsuman token does not have a level. So yeah. it doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't get popped. Get pop uh, yeah, Anubis can't pop it. So I do just go ahead and draw one and pitch one off of the Siako earlier. And then at this point, I'm just like the Betty High. I want to swing. Swing the Gobbly. Do hit a BL Star X. Swing Anubis. We'll pop yep. to restand. Yeah. That's big. It lives. Looks like you're debating here if you want to. Yeah, swing the Anubis again. I do hit a Cast Triangular, which does just pop a 12 PDP or less. So Protoform will activate. I grab the, the Gazimon back, yeah. put the Protoform on top, and then they go to trash. And then I'm like, you know what? I should probably save my Cerberus stack because if he can't clear it, then it's just kind of able to chill. Yeah. So I just drop just the. Yeah, drop the Labyrinth, pitch a card to go ahead and grab the Anubis back. <laughs> Fair enough. So it's like, okay. Yeah. yeah La Labyrinth pretty much just in there just to recycle Anubis if I need to. Yeah. And it's also like a good, um, like, kind of target to give an alternative Digimon out on board too, right? Because a lot of things are like, oh, pop the lowest level or pop lowest DP. It's like, well, you hopefully can save your Cerberus, but Mitchell is able to out it with the, what is it? It's Catastrophe or something like that. That red option. Uh, 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 Cast Triangular. Chaos Ranger, yeah, yeah. Um, so he passes you three memory. You do have the Labra. Uh, looks like you tuck an X antibody underneath to go into a Dober X. Mm -hmm. you resolve your effects. So you draw one, pitch one. Yep, yeah, just seventh. Gain retail. Then I go ahead, go into mm -hmm. Cerberus X. Cerberus X will go ahead and let me draw one. Trash one, actually, there you go. Then I do it, then I trash one. Yeah, deck's running a little low. Yeah. Yeah, I cycled, Anubis cycles cards incredibly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play out the Gobbly, gain some memory for playing it out. And we see Anubis then, again. Yep, he's back. And I go ahead Evo, and you can do the thing. You pitch a Biting Crush, it looks like, just to bring out a Leviathan. Yep, and pop the lowest level. Since uh -huh. since uh, Fujitsuma does not have a level, I go ahead and just pop the yeah. uh, the last. You give him a decent amount of memory, but I think at this point you're in a pretty good spot. You know, you, you don't mind yeah. giving him that much memory. Because I was like, you know what? He doesn't have any, like, there's no three musketeer trade cards on board. He could hard drop oh something, my. but I think that's fine. Yeah, drop some Magna Kid. Yeah. Dare Blitz. Dare Blitz effect pops the Gobbly. Yeah, and then it tucks it. Um, end of turn, he can trash it. Yep, to digivolve me. Uh, There's a little bit of confusion here. He thought he was able to swing because it says you may attack, but of course the card still needs rush to actually be able to swing. Sure. So unfortunately, it does not get the swing off. Levi does the two um, checks. Boy. Yeah, Hurricane. I do hit. Which is crazy. Dies. Yeah, uh, and everything dies. Yeah, yeah, it leads yeah. to level three, level four, and a level five. So I was like, oh, that's, yeah. un that's unlucky. That's... <laughs> Blitz Omni for game, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> purple, purple. <laughs> Omni's work for game. And then, you just, yeah, just play Biting pressure, Crush. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Just kind of put him in a tough spot where if you try... I mean, like, they don't play anything by effects with Three Musketeers, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Maybe there's something spicy being run in there that I'm not aware of. Yeah. I mean, at that point, there's not much you can do there. So Mitchell does end up scooping, and you take it. Yep. It uh, it went it was pretty good. Uh, aside from some just you know a little bit loosey goosey resolutions on my part, and overall at the end of the day I think like some of like the stuff with like Mitch's evolutions obviously like the guy, the imp mom wasn't supposed to be able to imp uh, Evo in the back, but it's not a huge deal. I don't think it really changed. How did it feel? Too much. You know I know it's been a while since you played Levia, and obviously we were talking about it the whole round, but like how did you feel after like after today? You got a whole kind of day's worth of practice in. Like how do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I wouldn't use this game as my my basis because the, that game made me feel like I was on cloud nine because I kind of just you know I, I went insano style, but yeah. a whole day it felt good. It felt really good. It feels like the Imperial matchup is a lot is very sort of back and forth. I I know I can counter them hard because I can counter partition. Mm -hmm. um but it it does take uh, a lot of sort of finessing and piloting to to, to to get there um i was able to take it against um sunny's fenry because taki mikazuchi build nice um by playing some some decent some decent stuff so and i think i think he might have misplayed a little bit too 
a couple times. I also kind of misplayed as well, though. I forgot. I should have grabbed a certain card at one point. I didn't. But overall, point is, deck felt good. It felt fun. It felt nice. I miss playing Leviya. I haven't played Leviya in a long time. And uh, just all the new tools that we have, um, and a lot of, like, just some of the some of the way the builds just, like, evolved to try and, f like, format the meta is it's just awesome. It's cool. Yeah. And I like playing my crocodile. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you, brother. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As I stated earlier, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. And hopefully we catch you on that flippy flip. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.